Hey, welcome to Transform Through Storm Tarot. It's your girl Storm Journey, and this is going to be a Treatment Thursday reading, you all. So let's go ahead and jump right into this reading. We're going to heal some emotions causing physical pain and illness, all right? So let's go ahead and see. This is going to be um, a seven-card spread with a overall energy, all right? So... We're going to get a card to describe the physical pain or illness right now at this present time that my collective is experiencing. Let's get a card to describe the physical pain or illness, okay? The emotions that this issue stems from. What are the emotions that this issue stems from? What are the emotions that this issue stems from, Spirit? Thank you. What needs to be healed? 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 <sighs> How this issue can be healed. How this issue can be healed. The first step towards healing. What's the first step towards healing? How your life will change once healing begins. How your life will change once the healing begins. How your life will change once the healing begins. And a message from spirit, a message from the divine. What message can we get from the divine? Spirit, divine, what message can we get from you at this time? Overall energy for this reading, the Eight of Cups. So again, walking away from emotional unfulfillment right walking away from things that no longer serve you right moving on towards better it's time to move on it's time to leave things and people behind it's time to leave old emotions and emotional behaviors behind okay um yeah so we're gonna see what this is about eight of cups so right off the bat, right, releasing these emotions and, and, and leaving them, right, moving forward. So what is this physical pain that you're feeling currently, right? Let's describe this physical pain, right? And so we have the night of air, okay? And so this is mental. So you're definitely going through... Something mental. Could be anxiety, could be depression. But it's definitely a mental battle, a mental storm. This could be a spiritual attack, okay, that you're going through as well, right? But it's attacking your mind and the messages that you receive. So I feel like the pain, you can, again, you could be having a lot of headaches. A lot of headaches. That could be the pain, right? So we're going to see what is this emotion that's causing these headaches. We have the seven of air. So betrayal, someone stealing from you, someone taking from you, someone lying to you, someone deceiving you, someone tricking you. Okay. So, yeah, just deception. Deception and lies. So being lied to, feeling deceived. Feeling tricked. 
feeling betrayed, feeling taken advantage of, right? <clears throat> when what needs to be healed, I feel like with this six of air energy, your your confidence, your your value, right, your recognition, the way you see yourself. Because this is victory. So I feel like you still need to see yourself victorious regardless of of what others have done to you. Or or what other situations have, have occurred to you. how this issue can be healed by you standing in your power, by you being a leader, by you taking authority, by you really not giving in to your emotions, being stubborn, being this emperor, being this boss, right? Taking matters into your own hands. Right? The first step towards healing this situation would be the devil. So breaking free of any addictions, any bondages, any patterns, right? That kept you stuck, that keep you bound. Releasing any attachments that you have to the situation, Your life will change because you will, again, start seeing yourself again back in an energy of working on yourself, working on your goals. Your money will be coming to begin to stabilize, right? You will be on the good side of karma. Things will start turning in your favor here. You'll be more focused. A message from spirit is the magician. Yes, this is a magical time in your life. This is a period where the divine is telling you that you, the, you, the, your life is in your hands. And whatever it is that you touch, whatever it is that you set your mind to, you will manifest. You will co-create. It's time for you to tap into that energy and manifest your life. But you have to move away. Manifestations are coming. But you have to get away from this energy. It's time to move away. It's time to let go. So, we're going to go ahead and end the reading off with a couple of... (sighs) <sighs> Crystal Grid Oracles, just for some more wisdom, some more knowledge. All right, what do we have? We have Soul Journey. Yes, this is you being on your journey, and this is a solo journey, right? So things are changing here. I feel like um, if you're focusing on love, now is not the time to focus on love. Now it's time to let go and focus on yourself, focus on your work. And focus on manifesting, focus on creating, focus on your transformation that you're going through. Any more messages? Okay. We have knowledge. Yes, you're receiving divine wisdom and knowledge at this time. Okay, so um, through this journey, you're, you're leveling up. Okay, um... The love card wants to come out. It's in the reverse, but I can't take it in the reverse, okay? So, I feel like once you gain this knowledge, once you go through this transformation, once you go through this shift, and you are, again, more knowledgeable, I think that's when 
your ancestors will grant you with love. But right now, there's a need to cleanse your energy, right? And focus on this healing, okay? Um, so, that's what I have for you all. I hope it resonates with you. Love and light.